Hello and welcome to the Ouseburn Valley. Over the next 25 minutes, I will take you on a tour through this particularly interesting area within Newcastle, which for years was the cradle of the Industrial Revolution on Tyneside. We will revisit old industrial sites, take a look at the present and get an idea of future plans for the area. To give you an idea of where we are, the Ouseburn Valley is located in the east end of the city and the tour I'll take you on will go along the River Ouseburn, all the way to the River Tyne, along the quayside and back again and on our way we'll be passing some fantastic heritage sites and new exciting developments. So let's start. The Ship Inn on the left dates back to the early 1800s and is the oldest pub in the Ouseburn Valley. The name recalls the importance of river craft to the industrial development within the area. The pub, as it is now, was rebuilt in 1905 and is now part of a number of fantastic traditional and modern pubs in the area. Bridges form some of the most striking features of the area's landscape. In total, there are nine road and rail bridges over the River Ouseburn of varying sizes and importance. The design of the bridges reflects the change in transport demands from the 1740s onwards. The tall red brick bridge is Biker Bridge. The bridge was opened to pedestrians in 1878 and carts and carriages were allowed shortly after. Originally only 30 foot wide, it was widened to 50 feet in 1899 and is now one of the key transport routes to the east end of the city. This quaint little bridge is called Crawford's Bridge and is the oldest of the surviving bridges to cross the Lower Ouseburn, dating back to the early to mid 18th century. It was named after Thomas Crawford, a former pitman and publican whose Lorraine arms once stood at the north end of the bridge. The thin grey bridge ahead of us is the Metro Rail Bridge. It was opened in 1982 to connect Newcastle with the riverside, the coast and the eastern suburbs. Built of precast reinforced concrete segments and secured with epoxy resin, it became the first of its type in the UK. The impressive rail viaduct behind it was opened in 1839 to connect Newcastle with North Shields, primarily for passenger use. Its original cheap timber arches were replaced 30 years later with the present iron arches and in 1904 it carried the UK's first suburban electric railway. This part of the area, which leads to the city stadium at the top of the valley, is an excellent wildlife corridor with one of the most significant collections of butterflies in the northeast. The birch trees you can see everywhere have only recently been planted to make this area more attractive. 